Hi, I'm here because I am starting something that I promised I would do. And today, or tonight technically, because it's nighttime, is the very first Q&A session. I think this will be a five part series and this is gonna be part one. So I spent a long time going over social media and looking at all the questions and I wrote them all down in pieces of paper and I'm just gonna drop them into a hat that I have. I made this hat for Halloween one year and I am going to go through them and just answer. I'll probably do like 10 or 12, we'll see. I'm not really sure. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, I forgot to get the names of everyone that was doing this and I kind of feel bad. So I'll make sure from now on after this Q&A if there's any others in the future or anything like that to get those done. Also, I wanted to let you know that I I'm always accepting new questions. The easiest way to get it to me is the comments in YouTube. So if you wanna ask any questions, leave it in the comments down below right now. And then go ahead and tweet me at that Becca Vaughn, B-E-C-C-A-V-O-N. And go ahead and use the hashtag Ask Vaughn, A-S-K-V-O-N. That's the easiest way to get it to me. Someone asked that and I realized when I asked for Q&A questions, it did not go over well because no one knew where to uh, put them. So without further ado. Let's get started. So the first one is, oh, they're all stuck together. I didn't make sure they weren't stuck together. <laughs> what is it? What is my favorite TV show? Well, I don't know if you guys can guess. <laughs> I will give you two seconds to go guess real quick in the comments. But my favorite TV show is Friends. That's my absolute favorite TV show of all time. I love it so much, I think, because it's funny, yet it has a sense of realism to it. It's not something that's hard to obtain in real life, and it has a sense of relaxation. You know, you know most of the episodes are going to be wrapped up in like 20 minutes, and it's really fun to watch. The humor's funny, it's witty, and out of all the characters, I think my favorite is... I have to say Ross. Ross is my favorite character. I had... A little while ago, I always thought that I was like the Phoebe of my group, my group of friends back in high school. And I always thought I was, you know, the Phoebe Buffet, the kind of weird one that no one really understood but put up with anyway. And all of my friends, we were talking about it and they were like, no, no, you're not. And I was like, what? Who am I then? And I was like, please don't let me be Rachel. And they were like, you're Chandler. And I was like, no, I'm not. I don't want to be Chandler. But now I've come to terms with it that I'm just the funny person and the person who tries to make light of the situation when it's really heavy. So, my camera's about to die, so if it dies and it's an abrupt stop, I apologize. I'm just gonna keep going and charge it for a little bit and get back to it. So the second question is, what is my favorite childhood memory? My favorite childhood memory is, I can't remember why, but for some reason, my parents were all really close in my family and my parents for some reason were like laughing and joking around and my dad was chasing my mom around the house just trying to tickle her and my brother and I were just laughing hysterically. I was probably in my teens, my early teens when this happened. I remember that they decided to settle down and we're all just laughing hysterically and having a good time and just being close and just enjoying each other's company and my dad just turns to my mom and just dumps an entire cup of water in her sweater pocket. And it sounds like really rude, but my family thought it was so funny. And my brother and I, we were just laughing and tickling each other and just cracking jokes. And my family's big on talking and movie quotes. That's what we were doing just 24 seven. We couldn't even have a normal conversation because it was all movie quotes. It was so funny and I, I, it doesn't sound funny trying to explain it to you, but that's one of my favorite memories that I always, when everyone's like, what's your family like? And I'm like, well, I have a story and then I'll tell you exactly how my family is. That's my favorite childhood memory. My next question, number three. Can I touch my tongue to my nose? No, I cannot touch it to my nose. I can, however, touch it to my, my chin down here. And, um, okay, I'll do it. It's like, uh, <laughs> and I just licked like a bunch of makeup off. <laughs> so, ta-da, there you go. And I also have, have you ever been snowboarding? No, oh no, yes I have. I haven't been actually snowboarding like on a mountain or anything like that. We have a little hill right in my neighborhood a little bit further down and my brother got a snowboard for Christmas one year. It was silver with green like foot handles or footholds. 
and he finally let me use it and he let me use it once. I just got to go down once and then he never let me use it again. <laughs> I guess I have been snowboarding, but not like officially. And then, my next question. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of video game? My favorite kind of video games are RPGs and like adventure. Um, for example, and I know some people are gonna be like, Ugh. I really loved Dragon Age. I really love Dragon Age type stuff and Dragon Age Inquisition. And I really loved um, Witcher. Just that kind of like build your own skill set and have fun and get to go explore the world and open exploration. I really, really love those. Um, for instance, I bought Wildstar when it came out and I immediately was the explorer and it was so much fun to be able to just go around and it wasn't like a set path that you had to follow. You could scale the side of a mountain. There was no guarantee that stuff was up there, but there was a possibility that it would be. And that was, I was so much fun. I just spent hours, even in Fallout, I spent hours wandering around. I still have like no quest done just because I explore. Next question. I answered this one on Zach's live stream, but I'll answer it again. What's my favorite kind of ice cream? My favorite kind of ice cream, believe it or not, and it's not one that people may think it, that they think of. My favorite kind of ice cream is Neapolitan because for some reason I really love, I love all different flavors because then you get a little bit of everything, but then you can also mix it together and it's like a whole new flavor that's absolutely incredible. And I absolutely love it. <laughs> um, so that's my favorite kind of ice cream. What are we on? Number six, number six, number six, number six, number six. What's on my bucket list? Um, well one I can think of off the top of my head that I tell people often, it's on my bucket list to see every Ripley's Believe It or Not museum. I love those books, I love the shows, I love everything. I've only been to one and it's my goal to see all of them. I think there's, I can't even remember how many there are, but there's quite a few. I want to securely jump from height a really high distance at some point, whether it's skydiving, jumping off the Stratus Tower, doing something, I wanna do it. Um, I wanna travel, but that's on everyone's bucket list. I would really, really like to, I don't know, I think that's it for my bucket list that I can think of so far. I haven't really, I don't have an extensive one, but I should start one. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, number seven is do I have any pets? Yes, I have four pets. Uh, one is mine and the other three are like family pets that we have. One is right back there. That is my guinea pig. His name is Atlas. And he's currently sleeping right now. And when I'm recording, I bribe him with carrots to be quiet. I think I said that in my summer video too. I'm not really sure. And then um, I have two dogs and one cat. And... That is it. We've had other dogs in the past, but they passed away. So we pretty much always have two dogs, and then we added a cat um, this time as well. And I would be more than happy to bring them in, but I was going to do a pets video, but I was like, I'm not really sure if I do that or if they think that was dumb. So go ahead, give this video a big thumbs up if you want me to do a pet video. They would absolutely love to be introduced because they are they love attention and I love them, so it's perfect. They're absolutely adorable. My favorite free time activity. Um, in my free time, I don't have a whole lot of free time. And when I do, I'm usually really stressed and wound up, so I try to do things that are mindless, um, that don't require a whole lot of thought. So I'll play video games for a little while, but eventually if it's a lot of puzzles and stuff like that, I can't. I can't handle it. Um, I really do love watching <laughs> Netflix and like Hulu and stuff like that in my free time because I just, I don't know, it's nice to sit down and watch someone else go through life and not have to do it myself. Another thing that I do in my free time is I love reading. If, when I ever get my room clean so I can do a room tour, I just have books everywhere. Books and I have two bookshelves, one and a half filled with comics, books, novels, nonfiction, fiction, anything. I love reading. We'll do a few more, who cares? I think I still have a few more anyway. My favorite sport to watch and play. I didn't play many sports growing up. I wasn't a very sporty kid. I did soccer and I did gymnastics and I did cheerleading. And I'm definitely one of those people that believes cheerleading is definitely a sport. Sorry if you don't agree. My take on it is cheerleading is definitely a sport after doing it for years. My favorite sport to watch is gymnastics. Uh, my mom was a gymnastics coach and I did gymnastics for a while. And we always love watching the Olympics and you know, picking out like, oh, she did that. And, oh no, they did this. And like, oh my God, that, is, that was so cool. Like there was a few years ago, Gabby something or other for the American team just like kicked butt. And my mom and I just sat there like, 
that's not possible. Um, and that's also my favorite sport to play. I really love um, like tumbling and stuff like that, which is like, for lack of a better term, like the flipping part of it. And that was always my favorite my favorite thing to do. I just love tumbling around and woo, backwards and forwards. It's so much fun. So that's that. And then, what are you most proud of? I think I have two. It's kind of a tie and it, it sounds bad that this is a tie. One of my things I'm most proud of is overcoming all the issues that I had during my like, and I'm still pretty young. And even though throughout high school and my early years of college, I had a lot of issues with self-esteem, self-image, anxiety, depression, and stuff like that. And I can talk and make a video about this too, so give it a big ol' thumbs up if you wanna see that video too. I had a lot of issues, for lack of a better term, growing up, and I think that that was my biggest, my biggest accomplishment was getting over it and getting over those things and, you know, just working so hard to make sure that I was the best version of myself and making sure that I liked myself. So it was a it was a really tough journey, but it was really it was a really rewarding one, and that's something I'm super proud of. Um, the second thing I'm most proud of, and even though these are ties, that one's like the more serious one, and this is the more fun one. Um, and I whip I pull it out sometimes just to like shock everyone. I about two years ago, I was working an acting job down on down in a city around here and I had gotten wind that Disney was auditioning a movie and I was like, okay, you know, like, of course I'll go do it. A bunch of friends of mine were like, hey, let's go do it, let's go try it. And we were looking it up, we were trying to see what movie it was and it turns out it was Star Wars Episode Seven. And I was like, you know, I had an acting resume and some headshots. I was like, I'll just go down there and turn my stuff in and waited four hours out of 2,500 people in St. Louis, downtown St. Louis, and you just walked up, handed your resume, said your name, shook her hand and left. You didn't you didn't do, do anything. You had about 3 seconds. And um I ended up getting a call back and got to read part of the script and they wouldn't tell us who we were auditioning for and it turns out once I saw the movie that I was auditioning for the part of Ray. And just out of 2500 people and just by shaking my hand and giving her my resume, I was one of 21 people to get a call back, which was, to me, I was ecstatic. I had, I had a blast, it was so much fun. It was the most, it was the scariest time of my life because I was like, this, this is terrifying. You know, you're just a small person. Like I said, it would happen, the camera died. So um, I was in the middle of, it's been like 15 minutes. I let it charge, so I'm like, okay, gotta remember what I was saying. I think I remember, so I believe I was on what are you most proud of, and I went through the serious one, now I wanna do the funny one. The cool part about it was, was the fact that out of like 2,500 people that showed up, only 21 people were actually considered for the roles, and I, you know, it was really cool to meet the casting director, and it's a really cool piece of like, piece of confidence that you get to know that like, oh, you could have done this and you could have, you know, it, at the time I was, a better way to explain it was at the time I was like, maybe I don't want to do acting, maybe I'm, you know, not cut out for it, maybe I'm not good enough, maybe I'm not pretty enough, maybe I would never make it in that industry. I always in the back of my mind was like, maybe I'm just giving up because I'm scared and I wasn't sure, so I was kind of like worried about it. And then once I got that call back, it kind of solidified like, I want to do this and clearly I'm talented at it and I'm able to do this so that was another thing that I'm super proud of and it makes me really happy when I think about it and it's one of those things that people are like are you kidding me and I'm like no I really did and I don't know it's my dog ran into something it's really the biggest confidence boost I could ask for and it's so cool to just have that little fun fact about me what am, what am I at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, I'll do one more. How's that sound? Sound good? Okay. Oh, ironically, favorite Star Wars character. Um, from the old movies, 4, 5, and 6, I would say Han Solo was my favorite just because he was snarky and I've always loved those kind of like jokester characters that were super fun and super awesome and we're able to kick butt. But with the new movie, and I hesitate saying this just because like, I don't wanna be the person who's like, oh, the new person's my favorite character. 
but I think I really, my new favorite Star Wars character is honestly Rey, and it has nothing to do with the fact that I auditioned for her or anything like that. It's because I really loved that she was so, for lack of a better term, she was so badass. And she could fight, and she could speak all these different languages. And then on top of that, she still had this, like, childlike quality in her that she never lost the excitement of meeting new people when she met, you know, Han, and she met all those really cool people. You could see her face light up, and that, to me, was, like, the character. That's how I would want to be if I was that character. I'd... If I was in that situation, I'd want to be the kind of person who was really awesome but didn't lose their sense of, you know, wonder in the world. And so I think that on a level that really spoke to me because I was like, that's how I want to be in my life. Really awesome but really nice and really sweet and really fun. So I think she's my favorite Star Wars character. I could do this all day and I really wish I could. Um, but I do want to break it up into series and this is going to be a long video anyway. I really appreciate all your questions and feel free to use social media you can comment down below in this video or you can go ahead and tweet me at that Becca Vaughn and just put ask Vaughn hashtag ask Vaughn V O N. all in all I have a lot of fun with this I'm a little nervous because it's a different style video in the last video I did like this I was super nervous too it's a different type of video but I absolutely love it and I appreciate all your guys support and the comments are nothing but positive and I as someone who's starting out and so nervous and so apprehensive about it and just doesn't it's hard and it's scary to start this because so many people do it and I think I think the biggest help has been you guys just being so positive and loving about it and being so excited for me and just you know really loving the content and it's one of those things that I'm editing and I'm like god this video sucks why am I putting it up and then as soon as I put it up everyone's like this video is great what are you talking about it calms me to the core and I absolutely love it and I couldn't ask for better subscribers and better people behind me and helping me get through this and helping me get to where I want to be so I appreciate you guys joining in and I'll do this again I want to do it every week so hopefully every saturday every friday something like that but go ahead for now give it a big thumbs up and comment down below any questions that you have or if you want to talk about anything or if you have any comments about any of my answers or anything like that or anything else you want to comment really it's that's guys that's your guys's domain subscribe if you want to see more also give it a big thumbs up if you want me to do the pet video or like the you know past issues video whatever you guys want to see just let me know down in the comments and give it a big thumbs up so i know all in all, thank you so much, and I love you guys endlessly. You guys can't even imagine. So I will talk to y'all later.